<laughs> oh no, he doesn't want the adventures. <laughs> Very fickle, this one. Now, I, I must confess, friends, we English are not the most xenophobic people on the face of the planet, but we do feel genuinely sorry for anyone who's not English. And Aristotle says ethnic jokes and stereotype jokes are one of the lowest possible forms, but that's why they're almost always successful. He does so, so as Aristotle makes it plain, you must only attack them. Right, thank you for looking at right. thank you. Every head goes, whoa, now I'm hungry for a textile. <laughs> Could you lower it just a touch, dear? <laughs> they, they like the show as well as pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was I lying about? <laughs> oh, yes, ethnic jokes. Aristotle says, only hit your own crowd. So that's why I only go after pasty-faced oppressors. <laughs> My range of ethnic jokes is entirely encapsulated by the French, the Germans, the Irish, the Scotch, the Welsh, and if pressed, the French, and the English as well. So, Aristotle will tell us that I did the first joke wrong. All ethnic jokes start the same way, like this. So here comes another German joke, another German joke. Everyone look over your right shoulder, left shoulder, lean in. Last night I went to a German restaurant for supper. An hour later I was hungry for power. <laughs> Here comes an Irish joke, an Irish joke. Everyone right shoulder, left shoulder, lean in. An Irishman walked out of a tavern. <laughs> <laughs> now as natural tragedies, sometimes I perform in plays by Shakespeare, one of which takes place in Scotland, and that play is called Back then. Some are chuckling for you know why I stepped off the stage before I said the name of the Scottish play. 
be those who know can help those who do not. We do not see the name of Macbeth while standing, sorry, Macbeth while standing on the stage because the play is what? Thanks to the help of the setup, here comes the trick. I used to do this trick without the setup, but people stared at me like a dog being shown a card trick. I stole that line from Bill Hicks, and I only shoehorned it from the show there so I could have a comedy third of referencing other performers. Comedy works in trees. Aristotle says so. Do the sodding trick, did. <laughs> Alright, so. My lords, my ladies, and those perpetually marginalized by that binary choice. I apparently need to give some a little more time with that. I actually do that for two reasons. I do it because it pleases some of you in the crowd, and it makes other faces go. <laughs> Here we go. The dangerous Shakespearean edition. Macbeth. You see, friends, you can say it whenever you want. It's utter nonsense. <laughs> We've come to the end of the show, my friends. I'd like to thank you all from my bottom to my heart. Truly, you've made a happy man very old.
about to go into the Museum of Natural History. Pestilence, please wear a mask and maintain physical distancing. Two dollar walkthrough. Hi there, just one. Yep. Are you with a group? No, just me. Just you, all right. Yep. All right, thank you. Is there anything, is there like any jump scares or anything like that? We're a museum, not a haunted house. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right. Who's stalking here? Oh, it is a museum, basically. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, Physalia. Serratium. It's neat. Anemone. Astro. Yeah, that thing is hilarious. Astro to me. Nude brunch. That's really neat. Hydra. Ooh. Cool animatronic, isn't it? Jubilaria. <laughs> Infant ogre. There is a reason there aren't many ogres. Wet nurse wanted. That's an infant ogre. Puck's grave. Pucks known by the Greeks as Reigns and by the Romans as Satyrs. They're nature sprites whose attributes include fertility and knavery. Be not be, not be fooled <laughs> by the depiction of them in the writings of Sir William Shakespeare, or ye will pay the price of thy foolishness. Uh huh. And there's a dark unicorn. Before there can be a light, there must be dark. Tender young maidens are considered a particular delicacy by unicorns. Okay, well, that was two dollars. That was a museum of unnatural history here at the Renaissance Festival. And I'm on a quest to find a drink. One out of line. Okay, I think this is, yeah, this is where the food is. Huh. Look line. Oh dear. I don't want to drink. There's mines everywhere. Mines everywhere. All right, I'm just gonna settle in this one. Finally, for the drink. All right, now I can continue wandering around now that I've got a drink. It took about 20 minutes, <laughs> I think. Yeah, it's like 20 minutes to get this, this whatever this is, to mead and, mead and wine. 
mixed. Twelve dollars. I don't think I've been down this street before. All the shops. Hello? Candles, blue, wax.
Oh, all right, yeah. Can I get that sausage on a stick? Certainly. You want to keep your sticks in? Oh, these are all sticks. Okay. There you go. Okay. There you go. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. I, I got a sausage. I just wanted pure protein. I know there's some better fat in this. I'm a little smashed. I need to get another drink though. Sorry. Sorry. There's nowhere. We got running around the whole place just eating this sausage. Yeah, it's lovely, right? You got this sausage right in the way of everything. It was five dollars. Your five dollar sausage. Hear that, ladies? You want yourself a nice large sausage? It costs five dollars. Honestly, walking anywhere, I'm just eating. It's a nice treat. I'm gonna head over to the other way, to the other stage. There's usually some kind of neo-medieval something going on over there. There might be a jazz going on too. I don't know what the times are. Something I knew from the last video. There's a lot of people here. The toilet seat covers. We've got a Templar in a black Templar costume. to get another one. All right. We have that pumpkin pumpkin tart. We don't have pumpkin tart for today. Pumpkin tart is still here. Okay. Mm, I guess I'll get a I'll get a waffle blueberry. Alright waffle? Yep. Blueberry and you want whipped cream? Um no actually. No whipped cream? I'll I'll pass on the whipped cream. Butter? Uh no. Alright. Is it just a plain waffle at that point? Maybe just waffle with blueberry toppings. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll have exactly that. No butter? No butter. Right, no butter. And what's the name? Alright, that'll be $5. Okay, that's 20. Here's the change, the corn down there when it's ready. Have a good day. Okay, thank you. Oh, okay. uh, there's, a, there's a tip. Thank you. Right here. Thank you. Look at this. 
salt. Okay. Yeah, I probably don't want any of this. I will. Oh, there we go. I'm going to get some napkins. Now I'm having dessert. May well be an Eggo waffle. The $5 Eggo waffle. That's okay. Let's go look around. Ooh, where did that come from? Down that way. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. This the line for the archery is it's not very long.
And though he was injured, he remains the fastest blade in all of West Island.
That's the end of the show. I think I'm going to head home now. It's starting to get dark. But if the bars are still open here, I might just get one more drink and wait. And wait for like, you know, 20 minutes and I'll start driving again. Pretty heavy. Anyway, take care. Rock on.